Now, the ever popular Shuli. I was 
looking for help. I didn't have a, I didn't know that we have things like this, you know. You can come together and then someone just guide you through. Uh, the, the help that I got is uh, me and my wife calling the series how to become a, bus a business, uh, calling the people that work at the office, but we didn't know that you guys exist, you know, like the Med Council or the third uh, from uh, City Minneapolis and St. Paul. Uh, unless, I, I mean, until we, we met Roderick, <laughs> and then he kind of said, okay, you guys are, I mean, you guys are welcome to uh, see what we do. And then um, there's out there, like the DBE, which is a, association or a group that help the minority business to, to move the ladder. And um, I'm, I'm glad that I, I come here, you know. And um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, uh, my company, the goals that we, me and my wife set for it. When we started and then we are registered at the state as a plumbing company, um, we want to we want to not just work for um, the the Hmong people or the uh, because I'm Hmong, so we just we don't want to work just for the Hmong people. We want to like cross the bridge and then work for the American people, diversity people, and. Um, <clears throat> We um, decided that the best way to do that is find the right people that, that will guide us through. So we call around, we got Roderick that come over our house and then uh, register, register us as a uh, part of the uh, DBE. Um, also, I started, even though I, I, I I could be a non-union plumbing company. I, I'm only myself as an employer and a, the employee. So I, I actually pay myself. And then I also run the whole company myself and I, I actually pay, pay myself as an employee. Um, I decide to stay in the union, even I all by myself, because the union trained me for all these six years, and I figured that being loyal to the people that train you and give back to uh, the people, that will be a, a greater uh, achievement than uh, somebody train you and you just get out of the union and start your own non-union shop and then uh, make a living and then because the union have some fees that you have to pay to be in there, you know. And some of the plumber, after they're done with the master, they just got out of the union. They think that they're going to make more being by themselves, not paying the due. But I think they make the wrong decision because uh, as I realized it, the, the government funds and project like those kind of project, they, they don't really go with the non-union because the non-union are some skilled workers. I mean, I, I don't criticize the non-union, but they, they have as much skills as, as we do uh, on our field, but when we run into like new stuff and the future material, the future um, fixture, things like that, that you have to have somebody that are expert on the field and you have to know who to turn to. And then the union, the